All right, so the next question is, what am I doing during the challenge? Very good question. Well, you are uh, completing two different habit challenges each and every day. And the individual habit that you're going to be doing is not going to be overwhelming. So like, for instance, the fitness challenge is a minimum of 15 minutes of exercise every single day during the 60 day challenge. And you might be going, whoa, every single day? Like, how am I supposed to do my HIIT workout every day? How am I supposed to do my weight training? What am I supposed, how am I supposed to you know, do my running every day? That's exactly why, that's one of the other questions that I wanted people to, to sort of think for themselves. You are creating sustainability. And it's part of creating sustainability is knowing how to manage a daily routine. So some days you're gonna hit the weights hard, right? If you're someone who has access to a gym or you can work out at home, some days you might wanna do HIIT workouts. For some of you, you might just be going for a walk every single day. There is no right or wrong fitness intensity to have. The goal is to stay consistent for 60 straight days, which means you're gonna have to think, how do I sustain this over a 60 day period. Well, you're not gonna be able to do HIIT workouts for 60 straight days. 75 hard taught a lot of us, including myself, that going too hard for, for in that case, 75 days is impossible and in my opinion, dumb. I don't think that's smart uh, fitness. I think, I think that there's, there's cool parts about pushing yourself from a mental standpoint, but I think it's hard for a lot of non-fitness professionals to realize that your physical body is going to have a point of diminishing returns to where you have to know how to push it, but then how to dial things back that's appropriate. I'm gonna wave to all you guys. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, so you're, that's your fitness challenge. A minimum of, 15 day, minimum of 15 minutes of activity every single day. All right, you can do more than 15 minutes, but a minimum of 15, which means that on days where you don't wanna do anything like a Sunday, you're gonna to have to push yourself to do 15 minutes, which could be as simple, there's the key word there, as doing a 15 minute walk, okay? So that's why, that's probably like the, the best way to explain the fitness challenge. Now, the, the nutrition habit is a little bit different. So for the nutrition habit, you have two different options. You can either do a simple 60 smoothie or a simple 60 salad. Now I've had people ask, well, what if I don't wanna do those things but I wanna eat healthy in replace of what that is? My answer to that is no, <laughs> okay, and here's why. There's no need to complicate this program past the simplicity of what it already is, right? Sometimes you have to just buy into simplicity. I know it's challenging because everyone wants to sort of make it their own, but the reason why I created two different nutrition options is because I wanted there to be less choices to be made, right? I wanted you to know exactly what you had to do every single day. You didn't have to make a choice. You know, Obama, I don't care about your political like stance on him because this isn't political, but one of the things he said was, is I wear the same thing every day because I already make a thousand decisions every single day. The last thing I want to do is figure out what I'm wearing. This kind of follows that similar mindset. You don't want to have to think too much because when you think too much, you're going to complicate the, the, the situ situation. So I give you the recipe for the simple 60 smoothie with options to you know add things if you want to. Maybe you don't like blueberries and so you can have a banana in your shake, whatever. I just give you a base idea of what you're going to need. For the Simple 60 salad, it's basically the same thing. It's just base ingredients and then you can add croutons or you can add, you know, some people like tomatoes or raisins or sunflower seeds in their salad, whatever. You can add things to it. I'm, I'm totally cool with that, but you have to get at least what's in the base, uh, you know, recipe. Um, and then I've had other people ask me, well, do I have to only eat those things? Absolutely not. All right, so the number one goal is that every single day you have to get one smoothie or one salad. So on Monday, you can do a smoothie. On Tuesday, you can do a salad. On Wednesday, you can do another salad if you want. On you know Thursday, you can do a smoothie. Uh, you can do it for whatever meal of the day you want. A lot of people uh, struggle with getting a, a, a breakfast, right? Like They like to eat in the morning because they're hungry, but they're too busy. So use the Simple 60 smoothie. Um, some people are, don't want to think about dinner, right? They're tired at a long day of work. You can have a smoothie. You can have a salad. All these things are options for you. Whatever else you eat during the day is totally up to you. You could have McDonald's or pizza. I, the point is not for me to like strictly control your calories during this challenge. It's to get you in the habit of doing something that's healthy for yourself, okay? 
So I hope that answers that question. Very good question. 